Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Vince and today I'm going to answer one of the most frequently asked questions that I get on Instagram and in the comment section as well, which is where I get my music from for my personal YouTube videos and also my paid client videos. Now, I just want to clarify, this is not the only way to get your music or anything like that, but this is the service that I have been using for almost the past five years. Like I've been really using them for a while. I uh, believe in the service and I genuinely like it a lot. So I wanted to share it with you guys. And basically the short answer to this question is epidemic sound. But in this video, I'm going to show you kind of how their software works, how you can use epidemic sound to find the perfect songs for your videos that really match the vibe of it, but also that don't get your uh, videos copyright flagged or deleted or anything like that. So you wanna stay out of legal trouble or demonetization or anything like that, Epidemic Sound is a great solution for that. Now, this video is actually sponsored by uh, Epidemic Sound. So you guys know I really don't collaborate with basically any brands, but again, Epidemic Sound is just a service that I have been using for a long time. I recommended it to many of my friends before, before I even you know got in contact with them. Um, so yeah, now, when it comes to Epidemic Sound, they have basically a couple different, you know, subscription models that um, or subscription plans that you can choose. So the first one is the personal, which is what I recommend for most of you guys. Uh, so if you are just trying to grow your YouTube channel or any of your social media, like your Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, podcast, whatever, um, you can use this uh, for 10 euros a month and basically you will get unlimited music downloads and sound effect downloads. You can use their music on all your content throughout the different social media channels and also get monetized, right? Um, and Epidemic Sound actually was kind enough to give you guys like a special discount for all my viewers. So if you sign up for their personal annual plan, you will get 50% off for the whole year if you use the code VINCE50 at checkout. So um, you still get a free 30 day trial if you sign up for the you know personal plan or even the commercial plan. And uh, you can try it out for yourself. If you decide not to move forward with it, you can cancel it throughout that first, you know, free uh, trial period and you won't get charged. So I would say you really don't have anything to lose to check it out and try it out for yourself, but I think it's really worth it. So um, yeah, and the commercial plan is for all of you guys who are running either like small businesses or even if you're a uh, creative agency owner and uh, you sign up a new client, like I recommend you to get the commercial plan for them because if you're going to be using uh, the music and any sort of ads or, uh, you know, their social medias and websites, like the commercial plan got you covered. Now, for the you know 10 euros a month for the personal plan and 19 euros for the commercial one the reason why i think it's really worth it is purely because of the amount of time that you can save by using epidemic sound instead of trying to find your music from all sort of like sketchy non-copyright website which a lot of times do get you copyright strike still or youtube it just saves you a shit ton of time to be honest um which is well it kind of pays for itself just in that aspect but also if you were to work with a client, for example, and you had to license individual songs for your ads, well, sometimes it can be hundreds, if not thousands of dollars alone to just license one song. And here you just pay like a fixed monthly fee and you get unlimited downloads and uses uh, from their like very big catalog of music. So that's why I think it's a great deal, to be honest. Uh, and that's why I've been using them for a long time, right? Uh, they also have an enterprise, um, kind of like plan, but that is only for, I guess, like very big businesses. So if you are uh, in that category, then you can contact them and they will give you a personal quote based on all your needs. Now, you know, what you get in these plans is uh, just to give you a quick summary is like the first month is always free where you can just try it out for yourself, see if you like it. And if you don't, then you can just cancel it, whatever. Um, you get over 35,000 tracks that you can choose from um, so all sorts of genres, all sorts of music, um, and they have really good stuff in there. And you also get over 90,000 sound effects to use, which is, well, trust me, they cover basically every single sound effect that you could 
you really want to use in your videos, which I'm going to give you an example for later on in this video. You get unlimited downloads. Uh, you can publish the content, to your social medias and monetize it, right? These are like the main benefits of the personal plan. And with the commercial, you get all that. Uh, plus you can use it in ads, websites and all sort of other platforms as well. So let's go into how you actually uh, use Epidemic Sounds uh, to find videos for your YouTube channels or client videos or anything like that. Uh, or I'm going to show you at least how I use it personally. So as you can see, if you go here to the main page uh, of the music section of Epidemic and um, um, you can see here we have this featured tab. So the featured tab gives you recommendations based on the kind of songs you have downloaded or listened to in the past on their website. And it's really good at predicting what you are going to like. Now, if you listen to all of them and you want to get some fresh ones, uh, like fresh recommendations, you can also just click refresh and the AI is going to give you uh, some new tracks that you might like uh, based on, again, the, the stuff you listened to in the past and the stuff if you download it. Um, so yeah, I, I use this feature quite a lot, like a lot of times when I'm trying to find something for my videos, I literally just go on here to the feature tab. I listen to a couple of them and I can immediately usually find one uh, that I can use in the video. Now, if you scroll down a bit more, you can see uh, more stuff you like based on your recent downloads. Uh, and again, this kind of just combines like the different genres you usually download, the different BPMs, the kind of artists that you listen to the most like uh, this one is one of my favorite artists um, I don't know how you I would exactly pronounce his name but his stuff is incredible so props to Oi uh, I'm probably butchering that name but sorry about that uh, if you go down a bit more you can also see they have a bunch of different playlists and themes um, so for example the now trending tab is also something that I use a lot because obviously these are like their most trending tracks at the moment and usually they are trending for a reason because I find some incredible songs here um, and um, the cool thing is in every single category or playlist that you go into you can actually use filters to find the exact kind of song that you are looking for uh, for your certain edit right so uh, if you go here to the filters you can filter by the kind of music it is so let's just pick mainstream hip-hop for example you can also also go to the moods so it categorizes each song into a certain mood so there is like laid back dark heavy and ponderous hopeful and smooth here now obviously in this um, playlist there aren't that many songs but if you go into a big playlist or big category these filtering options can be really really useful you can also choose here whether you want songs that have uh, vocals in it as well or just instrumentals. You can also filter by duration of the song. So if you want to make sure that your song is no longer than three minutes, for example, you can actually uh, filter it by that, which is, in my opinion, a lifesaver. And you can also filter by BPM. So you can select the exact BPM range that you want your song to be in. Here on the main page, uh, again, you can select uh, different genres here. So uh, this can also be very helpful to find the exact kind of song you are trying to find for your edit. Um, and also they have this mood categorization. So this is the one probably I use the most. So let's just say I was trying to create a cinematic um, sequence where there was a lot of chasing. There was basically like sirens going off, like the cops chasing someone or something like that. I would probably go into uh, the suspense section, right? And now I can actually still use all these different filters and uh, find, for example, a high BPM song uh, that only has instrumentals in it uh, and that is in the action genre. And as you can see, I already like filtered down a bunch of the songs. I can sort by uh, popular or um, low tempo, high tempo, short track, long track. They have a bunch of sorting options as well. And um, I'm just gonna play like the first song and see if it would be a good fit for uh, this, you know, hypothetical uh, project that I have in mind. Yeah, so as you can see, I already found a song that, you know, I can use copyright for you without having to worry about anything in just like one minute or under one minute that I could use in an edit just like that. And uh, another great feature of Epidemic Sound and the reason why I like using them is that 
uh, when you download a certain song, you can either, you know, you, you just go here, click on download, and you can either download the full mix, or you can also do a stem download. And what you what happens when you click on download all stems is that it's basically going to give you a zip file of that certain song. And as you can see, once I open that zip file, I have all the different layers of the song separately. So basically now I have a, a file of the bass, I have a file of just the drums in the song, I have a, a file of the instruments, I have a, a file of the melody, and uh, then I have the final song as well where I have all of them together. So the reason why this is cool is because it allows for a lot of creative um, kind of freedom, right? Because if you put all of these on your timeline and you want to get rid of the drums for a little uh, bit and then you want to bring them back, like you can very, very easily do that because you have all the different layers of the certain song and they have this feature for most of their song, which is great. Um, another great feature built into Epidemic is this find similar button. So let's just say I really like this song, right? And I want to check out some other ones that are similar to this uh, in terms of the BPM, instrumentals, all of that. So I can just click on find similar. And now it's going to recommend me a bunch of songs that fit the same kind of mood as this one. And I can just go through these, right? Uh, skim through them and uh, see if I can find something that's even better for my uh, segment. So that is basically how easy it is to use uh, Epidemic to find the exact kind of song that you are looking for in a project. They also have a bunch of different albums. Uh, they keep creating new ones. They also add new uh, music to their catalog every single month. Um, they have these uh, themes as well. So if you are trying to you know, make like an ad or a promo video, they have like a whole theme for that. And uh, as you can see, you can find so many different categories to find the exact kind of uh, music that you need for your certain project, whether that be a personal YouTube video or even an ad for a client. Now, another great part of Epidemic that I use probably even more than just the music part is the sound effects tab. So the cool thing about it is again, you can see they have a bunch of different categories for sound effects, like literally all sorts of things. So uh, you can either like check out these different categories or you can just go here to the search bar and look up basically anything that you could want a sound effect for. So I'm just gonna search up like, search up like camera, uh, shutter or something like that and as you can see they have a lot of different uh, shutter sound effects so let's just listen to this one boom now i have a camera shutter sound so if i was creating like an ad or any sort of video really and i didn't uh take a sound clip when i was filming that certain thing then i can just go here to epidemic search up exactly the kind of uh, sound i'm looking for find a bunch of different options, choose one that fits uh, the video, and then boom, you know, now I have the sound effect and I can add that extra layer of punch to my videos, which is great. So to conclude everything, this is how I find music for my YouTube videos. And this is the service that I have been using for the longest time. And uh, thank you Epidemic again for sponsoring this video and supporting the channel. I have been loving this service for a long time, so I'm glad that I got to partner up with them. And if you guys want to try it out and get some huge savings for your, from your plan, uh, then again, go click the link in the description below, sign up for the annual personal plan. You will still get your free trial period when, where you can cancel it if you don't want to uh, pay for it. But uh, if you use code VINCE50 at the end uh, at checkout, you will get 50% off for the entire year. So it will be basically uh, like what, like six euros a month or so uh, for your plan, which I think at that point, it's kind of a no brainer, the amount of time that you will save by this and headache uh, by not getting the copyright strikes and everything. I think it's totally worth it. Uh, so hope you guys enjoy this video. Let me know in the comment section below if you have tried Epidemic in the past, what was your experience like using the service? Or uh, if you haven't tried it yet, you know, try it out and see if you like it. Let me know uh, again, your thoughts in the comment section below and I will see you guys in the next one.